Welcome back everyone to part 8 of this series for question 2 paper 5 A level physics. Now in this part of the guide I will go over the drawing of the line of best fit. Even though it looks like a very simple task many students do get confused on how to draw the line of best fit. Where should the line pass? Should it be crossing all the points? Should it be just touching the first and the last point? What are the common mistakes students usually make? So using my error bars and the points that I plotted in the previous two videos, I will be drawing lines of best fits on those four graphs. And while doing so, I'll give you all the important tips and all the mistakes that you need to avoid in order to get full marks in this part of the question. So let's get into the screen. All right, so for drawing the line of best fit, uh, the first thing that you need to take care of is having a sharp pencil. Then the second thing that you should have is a scale which is at least 30 centimeters long. Please do not use uh, those smaller scales which are only 12 to 15 centimeters long. Use scales which are large enough to cover the entire grid and you don't have to draw the line in steps. <clears throat> Third thing that you should take care of is that the scale should be transparent. Do not bring a steel scale because when you put the scale on top of the points, it will <clears throat> cover some of the points under it and you will only be able to see one side, which is not a good situation. So make sure that your scale is as transparent as possible. Um, okay, so once you know these steps, then you need to know what a line of best fit is. So a line of best fit is something that passes through as many points as possible out of the six points that you have plotted and the deviation from the points should be kept to a minimum so the goal is not to pass the line through each and every point so it means that i am not going to try to join these points together that is not a line of best fit this will be wrong so the goal is to draw one straight line in one go but it should be as close as possible to each of these points let's do a few examples from past papers where we have already plotted the points. Now you will see something that I haven't drawn error bars uh, on this graph. So that might come as a surprise to some people. But what you should know is that you don't really need error bars for the plot uh, for the drawing of the line of best fit. What you need is these plotted points. Error bars are only going to confuse you more when you're drawing a line of best fit. It's or is the worst acceptable straight line for which you need the error bars. So with the green color, I'll draw the line of best fit. So the first thing I'll try to do is just pass a random, just place my ruler along these points. And then obviously you cannot uh, draw a line in your paper with a pencil and then move the line around. I ha I'm using a digital software, but you have a ruler with you, a transparent ruler, which you can move around easily over these points. The ruler should be transparent. You can see the points which are under the ruler as well. So you will see that the last point on this graph, the topmost point is quite far away from the uh, from the line. So I, what I'll try to do is move the line close to that. So I'll, I've just rotated my line clockwise. Now you can see it passes through most of the points. But if I look at the bottom of this line, all three points that are towards the bottom are below the line. So that's not a good situation. Um, I should try to keep the line such that the distribution of the points on either side of the line is balanced. That is a very important thing to remember. So now you will see that the last point is slightly above it. So I'll just rotate it a bit more. Now you can see that the last point exactly passes through the line. Uh, the line passes through the last point. It passes through the second point as well. Then the third point is slightly above it. And the fourth and the fifth point are also passing through the point. And then the last point is just slightly above it. So I think this is good enough. This is as close as we can get to all the points. Um, and that's it. That's the line of best fit for the first one. So remember the rules line should uh, doesn't uh, line should be straight line should be very thin so you should have a sharp pencil line should have an even distribution of points so points that are not on the line 
should have an even distribution on either side of the line so if let's say two points are above the line then two should two points should be below the line as well if one point is above the line then one point below the line should be there as well while the rest of them passes through the line okay what we'll do is now look at another example of the same thing again this is an example from uh, October November 2010 paper 51 and again I have plotted the points already and I haven't drawn the error bars as I told you you don't need the error bars for the line of best fit what you need is just your plotted points so the rules are even distribution of the points above and below the line uh, the scatter of the points the deviation of the points uh, which are not on the line should be kept to a minimum and your line does not have to pass through all the points another thing the students usually do is they just join the first and the last point which is also wrong so you should not try to do that because that is not acceptable so what you should try to do is pass as many points as you can now I have drawn a line tentatively but you can see that it's not correct why because most of the points seem to be above the line so what I'll try to do is move it slightly up now you can see uh, the second last point on the graph is below the so this point is below the line then this point is above it and this point is above it and that's it you can see that one point is below the line one uh, a couple of points are above the line and then almost all the other points are passing through the line so let's look at another example after this one now we have another example from may june 2020 paper 52 and again i've plotted all the points already so how do i line draw a line of best fit again the same three rules lines should be drawn in one go should be straight line should try to pass through as many points as it can but it should not be a jagged line it should be drawn in one go and the distribution of points that are not on the line on either side of it should be even so there should be some points above the line and some points below the line as well so first I'll draw a tentative line now I'll never get it right in the first attempt you can see that the last point is clearly way above it and then there's two points in the middle that are very far below it so I can definitely move this whole thing anti-clockwise so I'll try to do that bring these middle points slightly close to it and you can whatever I'm doing on the screen you can imagine your transparent scale doing the same thing you will not draw the line with a pencil and then keep erasing it again and again what you will do is move your scale around until you are satisfied even if the line does not pass through a single point it's fine what's the goal what the, the goal really here is to keep the deviation of the points to a minimum so I guess you can see that the first and the last point are slightly above it while the rest of the points are slightly below it so I would consider it an even distribution of points and that's it that's it for this example then let's move on to the last example where we have an example from May June 2012 paper 52 again we have six points plotted already all we need is a transparent ruler and tentatively place it on the points you won't get it right in the first attempt but just remember the basic rules line should be drawn in one go so don't try to draw a line with a pencil yet just try to rotate your scale slightly and then try to bring all the points as close to the scale as possible and the points that are not on the line should have an even distribution around it so you can see that most of the points right now are actually passing through the line except the second point and except the last point but both of them are slightly above it so I would consider my line is a bit too downward right now so I'll just move it slightly upwards there you go a good even distribution of points around the line so that's it for this example I'll see you in the next one